In order to support the learner through their learning journey, in order to complete the foundation degree in cyber security, there is a specific site that has been set up in order to house the supported online learning content that will be used in order to guide the student through each of the modules, the course, and also support them with regards to any additional course information or contact information, or as you can see right at the top there, any of the announcements that um, are of relevance to the actual course itself. As we are well aware that students who are supported online uh, don't have the, the benefit of being in a classroom, say, two or three times a week and having that one-to-one -one interaction with a particular module tutor. Um, that is more uh, a booking system where you will have a one-to-one -one tutor tutorial at specific times throughout the actual module itself. So to give you a, a brief demonstration as to what um, functionality we have set up in order to support the validation of this particular provision. Um, you'll see that within the announcements page, um, each of the sessions is broken down on the left hand side. Um, so you've got announcements um, with clear headers as to, to whereabouts you are. Um, welcome in from the, the head of NCG Direct. So we have box optional boxes that will come up where you'll be able to look at the um, information that is within there. Um, maximize it so you can actually see so you can look in um, and see the the comments that have been made or anything that's in there introduction as to what do you do with regards to your induction so you look at um, distance learning as many benefits including the advantages of studying so we take each of the students through um, online um, as a part of a, a, a formal scheduled introduction to the to the module itself so that that's booked in with the curriculum leader for the particular area so in respect of the foundation degree in cyber security that would be with me so i would take them through each of the each of the stages each of the menu bars that are on the left hand side um, introduce them set up their login details explain to them where they'll be getting their information from but in support of that rather than them having to remember everything from that you know 60 minute to 90 minute tutor, um, introduction and induction to the course all of that information is then documented within the course site and that's explained to the learners um, in their in their induction itself so within the announcement section what you'll have is a lot of information in there with which is specific to the um, the foundation degree cyber security so if there are any events um, both internal or if there are any external events that have any of any interest um, we will pass that information through there or if there are any specific um, announcements with regards to um, uh, practical exams or anything like that we would we'll put them up on there we won't solely just um, put the information on the announcements page we will also contact the the students via email and make sure that they are uh, contacted and we ensure that there is a, a return back from that student so we hear from them to make sure that they have actually either received it or um, they are aware of either an up and coming exam um, because we would follow that up with a phone call um, and chase it along and document it as, as we would do with along any other part of the, the learning the learning journey. So moving down on to course information, within the course information all of the learner support guides will be in there, the policies and regulations are, are accessible for the student, PPD, um, assessment portfolio and specific programme information is, is housed within there. So learner and support guides, um, learner view guide, online student guide and then we've got um, NC, NCD student login which is in there. So there's details, documenting how you log on to the system, what you do in order to access the system um, and you can navigate your way around those um, again learner view so with every everything that the student needs to do there is a, a, a document which will take them through the process in order to support what has been what they have been taken through by their curriculum leader so moving on from, from there, we have contact information. Obviously at NCG Direct, we're very aware that um, this is a, a supported online service and all of the students who that will, co that will come to us will be supported in such a way that um, they, don't, they don't feel the need that they're missing out of being in a classroom environment. Um, so they have access to a 24-hour email uh, an email address. Um, they also have... Um, access to all 
of the team within NCG Direct. We have emails and we have um, telephone numbers that are on there. Specific students will have, um, for example, if it was um, for me, so my contact details, again, of a weekend, the students who I know who I'm actually dealing with um, or, or having any particular difficulties, emails will be answered at a weekend in order to, because we are again aware that the students will work Monday to Friday or could work Monday to Friday. And generally, um, some of the students would actually do the work on a weekend. We're not in the office of a weekend, but again, we will reply to emails in order to alleviate any unnecessary worry, concern about a particular module, and then sort of move them on to the next part of the either the module assessment or the module itself in order for them to complete that without any any um, undue concern. So going through to the my course content within within that the modules that are um, are, are listed in there that they, they will be completing. You'll also see the um, NCG direct learner induction which will take you again in support of everything that you've been taken through in relation to uh, your verbal one-to-one -one curriculum leader induction you will have your welcome to ncg direct um, inducting you onto your program so again there are specific areas where uh, stage one stage two option a b so all of the the options that we have, important messages that are in there again, identifying the the, the um, SOS, which is um, a, a support and email address to register any issues, and we can deal with those in a in a timely manner. Looking at um, logging into your NCG online platform again from the email from the our actual website through to how you actually log in using. NCG Online, Learner View, Setting Targets, moving through to the actual induction site that you will be given. So you've got a lot of support and documents and a, and, a, and a site that sits there as well. How will I learn? So any questions that, that students may have that within an induction you would never be able to um, look at the actual you'd never be able to look at everything and you would always go back and have a look at something else and think oh, I wish I could answer that those students who are supported online don't necessarily have that ability to be able to see oh I'll catch you in the catch a lecture in the corridor or a, a curriculum leader in the corridor and ask a question about a specific area so again we've created a, a how will I learn section we've created student assessment study guides which you you would see um, examples of in there which will break down all of the uh, information with regards to when you will learn how you will learn what you what you will do as part of your course and then moving down how will I be assessed so again the assessment methods a breakdown of each of the assessment methods that you'll be using so essays online everything is in there that's documented with regards to moving down again um, troubleshooting and frequently asked questions again we don't they don't have the luxury of being able to jump straight in and sort of catch somebody in the corridor but they will have the opportunity to be able to to look at the frequently asked, asked questions and we can signpost them so how do i log in how do i reset my password how do i access my course site a number of the questions that we have had in the past and again this is updated on a regular basis to make sure that any new ones that come up are, are dealt with but also identified within here hardware requirements so they've got the students have got somewhere to refer back to and have a look and see what they need to do in order to be successful in uh, running the course completing the course but then also succeeding on the program and achieving their foundation degree so what do i do next so take it look at um, the, the list that you have um, access what actions you've got your induction chest a checklist rather um, you finish stage one of your induction you can ring your curriculum leader start your modules and then it's time to succeed it's time to go and complete your course so you can move through onto the behavioral analytics so cmp101 behavioral analytics and data security so within that section again it's broken down to so the introduction to the module 
So behavioural analytics and data security. So what are you going to be doing within that module? So analysis of file types, algorithms, network behaviour analysis, insider threats. I'll not read all the rest. And then I've documented specifically for this module the hardware and, hardware and software requirements that you will need. So Intel Pentium 4 or AMD Athlon 64 processor. And then the equivalent for Mac operating systems because we are aware that a lot of the students and learners that we do have um, are uh, using Apple Macs or uh, MacBook, MacBooks uh, to complete their studies. So, list of the relevant books, journals and websites that will be useful for this module itself. So in order to introduce you to the course and get that student prepared. Again, overall to the course you'll be given an introduction, an induction by, your curricula, by the curriculum leader. So as I said before, in relation to um, FDSC cyber security, that would be me. Moving on to the introduction into behavioural analytics and data security, that would be a particular module tutor that you would be handed over to. So a personal online tutor would then look at inducting you onto this particular module. So again, you'd be ex they, they would um, take the, the learner through the content and again, the information that is on here would be supporting so that the student doesn't have to write down a thousand and one notes or doesn't have to remember everything. They can look at the, the information that is put onto the screen and they can always use that as a reference point. And if at any point the student needs to speak to the uh, personal online tutor, then from that point they can then be signposted to a particular area within the site. So it just makes... The, the communication between the student and the personal online tutor, tutor or the curriculum leader a lot more streamlined so that they can there's no gaps in anything and that student is supported and they feel supported throughout this module and the course. So again, from there we can move into section two, so data, data management and device security, which you'll see on there. So again, an introduction to it when managing Windows device and cloud-based services will explain it. It'll take you through. If you at any point through your module and questions, you know who to contact. So there's always somebody there to, to, or some contact um, option there for the student to say, right, well, I need help with this or I'm, I'm concerned about this. At no point is the student just left in order to get on with it without being um, supported. So again, initially, uh, breaks down security, CIA, risk management, and then explains the types of things that are going to be covered in some of the e-learning content so within this e-learning content you'll be taken through the following and then what we would do is we'll start the e-learning content which will come up in a, in a separate window and then you could be able to begin the e-learning content from there so reading and starting the course begin so you can skip to either different sections within the e-learning content or you can just try begin the course from start so you can see that there's a, pre, a lesson pre-test in there in order to get, create a benchmark for that particular student. So again, go through. Um, I'm just going to fill these in as we go. So it'll be an advanced sharing. Obviously doing these as quick as we go on. So three, just so we can see the content as well. Go on to there, move it on to there. Done. Just getting to see there's interactive content which is in there in order to guide the student, give an initial understanding. <coughs> Question 8, done, none of there. So it'll give you an initial um, introduction and then from this you then have some video footage explaining the content, what you're actually going to be, what you're actually going to be looking through and what you are going to be learning. In support of this you will also see um, down in the bottom that there is a transcript. So within the transcript you can obviously read if you um, if there's in order to support, and you can print these transcripts off as you can see in the top corner that's up there. <clears throat> so, so again, 
within this side so again there's a, a second part of data management security we've got um, se separate tests that we can run within these again these some of these are created in house some of these are actually create uh, or actually purchased in which you can see so these ones are uh, developed in-house with with by our, our own content developer with obviously the support of the curriculum leader in uh, in in that particular area so you'll see different options to be able to drill in have a look be be interactive with the e-learning content rather than just sitting and reading through reams of uh, information from this one we can then drag and drop in order to identify what fits in what uh, what uh, items belong in which answer box again it's interactive so the students aren't just reading through information so we'll submit the answer so that's the right answer um, integrity again I'm just guessing at those and then it'll say for unfortunately you didn't pass you're required to get 80% within that so you can either review the quiz so you can go through and find out what you did get correct and what you didn't and then you can then continue with the remainder of your course uh, the remainder of your course in addition to that so we've got e-learning content we've got um, pre-tests we've got post tests we've then also got a, a separate interactive test that is in there as well there's also the option to download powerpoints so you so the PowerPoint there, understanding security layers in order to support the learning as well as the development um, of yourself through that of yourself through that module. Each of the other areas you will see as well listed down. So um, introduction to Python, it's exactly the same. So again, Python language basics, take them interactively through the learning, the learning content, configuring wired and wireless networks. And PowerPoint that you can download a breakdown of what it is, network and fundamentals, so configuring wired and wireless networks. And within some of these sessions you will have again that interactivity where you can drag and drop and you can learn more than just learn by actually doing rather than just reading. So in addition to that, the personal you have the personal personal and academic development sections that are in there. So um, your introduction to that so the e-learning content which has been developed and is currently situated within the, the college um, and situated with all of the, the um, degrees that we have at the moment. So students are completing this currently. <coughs> so again you have PPD, uh, sorry, personal academic development and you have work related learning and work based learning. The e-learning content that is within there, tutor led yeah. study. We also have in addition to um, the the actual course site as well, rather than just relying solely on telephone or email communication, we also have the functionality and the, the process to use something called NCG Conference, which is functionality in order to, um, to communicate face-to-face -face with the student no matter where they are. So if they were wanting to have a look at a particular area they were struggling with a particular uh, piece of the the demonstration or a powerpoint or just a particular area within the, the module we would be able to use just allow that we would be able to use ncg conference in order to facilitate a tutorial a one-to-one -one tutorial and um, doesn't necessarily have to be a one-to-one -one -one tutorial however as you can see my images now appeared on the screen so um, what you would have is you would have a, a student who would contact you who would then want to um, see be taken through a particular PowerPoint. You, we have the facility to be able to use, um, I'll just move that down slightly and to there. We have the facilities in order to be able to show desktop, which you'll see as it hang, hangs over there. So show my desktop. So I would then be able to take them through a PowerPoint and um, show them particular examples of what I've done um, whether it be maybe in programming, it could be a, a, a specific set of code that I've produced and I could take them through that individually in order to explain. So as if I was sitting next to them, taking them through that content. Um, in If I had somebody else registered 
whilst I'm doing this you'll be able to see that student that learner in in the top left hand corner and there is also the option so you can see within there to have um, multiple users on as well so it could be a case of delivering a lecture um, or delivering um, specific, or answering specific questions if I have a number of the same same ones in or if somebody's struggling with a particular piece of the content then I would be able to use this facility in order to answer them all at the same time and have everybody interacting together okay so that's NCG conference and that is an outline of what we will provide in order to support our learners through the foundation degree in cyber security but not only that all of the support and online learning courses that we deliver here at NCG Direct.